Welcome to Bloomington, Indiana, home of the Hoosiers. We expect Memorial Stadium to be rocking because these fans have been getting ready since early this morning. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Florida International Panthers, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Indiana Hoosiers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Hoosiers will put total leather and will get started. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. Knocked down right at the 25, and I guess he breaks even, bringing it out of the end zone. So the FIU Panthers offense will start this game off. And not only is this guy the energy and the engine of the offense, there's a certain charisma that he has that sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. It just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs looking at him and believing in him to lead this offense down the field towards scoring points. This guy is a leader in every sense of the word. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the air, it's Jenkins. Grabs it in the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. FIU pushing tempo. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the tight end. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. And the Panthers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with him. Headed to the end zone. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Panthers have it with a first and goal. To throw, it's Jenkins. Fires to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Florida International. And that's what I love about empty sets and formations on offense is that when you spread the defense out, you create bigger lanes to throw and do. You saw it right there. PAT unit on the field. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they close that drive going to the air for the final few inches. 
about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the Indiana Hoosiers offense will take the field for the first time. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The give on the inside. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Back to throw. It's Rourke. A strike downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. At the 35, he's got room. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. And the Hoosiers are moving quickly down the field. They'll try to pop the draw. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give from the gun. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. Fast motion from the offense. Might as well give it to him again. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Dropping back, it's Roar. Makes the grab, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Getting set for the point after. Right down the boulevard. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Bringing it out. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. 
Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After picking up a couple, at second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Just gets it to the 28, pick up of one. Here on third down for this offense. From the gun, running back gets to give. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. FIU will line up to punt, getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. They'll go to the ground. Got enough for the first. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. and They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. They're going to ride this running back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's Rourke. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. Got the first down and still on his feet. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. Pulled down after a pickup of six, but he gets it inside the red zone. It's down at the 15. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Caught in the backfield. It's Horton. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Muscling ahead on third and short. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Hoosiers trying to cash it in on first and goal. Motion from the offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Trying to pound it in. 
And he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position here. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counterpunch and attack this defense? Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keeping those vibes going here in the second quarter. Looking for the touchdown on third and goal. And it makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Hoosiers! And that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. Tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game when he can do this kind of damage after he catches the football. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Florida International offense is back on the field. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. A little misdirection and the handoff on the counter. Nifty run there. Pick up of six out to the 25. On defense, when they line up with numbers and they line up on your side, you're like, you're ready. It's coming right here. And then all of a sudden they mix in counters and they pull one or two guys and go back the other direction. That's a really good job by the offense keeping the defense on their heels. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Balls at the 25. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. They'll try to find room outside on the jet sweep. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep, and a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside to where all the traffic was. Second down coming up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He makes the stop at the 48. That'll be enough for a first down and a pickup of 10. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Rides to the back. Smashes through. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. 
Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, his offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the back. He right now is running with authority on this drive. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To the ground with the bat. Nice move to pick up yardage. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Balls have the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, in third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. Oh, the attempt is no good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive there. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. give to the running back we'll give him a couple on that one second and eight coming up all right well the offense here they're trying to get this run game established they obviously don't break off a long run there but they're just trying to find their footing at this point picked up two yards on that last one they need eight on second down little touch pass to the receiver makes it pass to marker what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Yeah, and, and would it be creative? Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly, get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. And the Hoosiers will snap it on first and 10. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. The give to the back. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. On first down from the 13-yard line. Wide receiver shows motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. Well, this offense needed a touchdown. No doubt that that was the guy the QB was going to be looking for on that play. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further. So that scoring drive took only six plays. Here he comes from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the run. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. To the air, it's Jenkins. Flushed out of the pocket. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. There was just nowhere to go with the football for the quarterback throwing it. So he tried to create, he tried to extend the play with his legs, just not able to get away from the defense. And now we have fourth in. FIU will line up to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Offense getting set for first down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. they got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second half. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays. Now to try to throw it in drive on third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Hoosiers will punt this one away. <laughs> Running it back, it's Patterson. And they're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. Back to throw, it's Jenkins. He's got it down the middle. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. You hate giving up that play if you're the DB on this one because you're playing man coverage, you're trying to defend a slant route, you've taken the inside away. That's where your leverage is. You'll allow anything to happen to the outside. You're trying to funnel the receiver to the boundary. You just cannot let the receiver beat you to the inside. 
They'll throw on third and short. Unloads to the wideout. Pulls it in. Knocked down immediately, but a big gain down to the 45. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. He wants to throw it again. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Looking to throw on second down. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. This receiver is so dangerous out in space, and it's a nice job by the QB getting him the ball early on the curl route. You see, once he has it, he's got some wiggle, he's got some shake, makes some defenders miss, and gets up the field. Line is set on third down. He finds his man. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football. And you Touchdown, Panthers! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Wait, can, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders. One, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays, or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back looking for help. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. Fires one high and deep. Throw to the sideline, and it's complete, and they've got a big play. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. That's the way to open a drive. Now they'll put it in play just shy of midfield. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. On target to the left. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. They'll immediately call timeout. Now on first and 10 from the 27. Looking for a man, it's Roar. Just a short pass to the tight end. The offense calls timeout, it's the second one they've used this half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. He's going to pass on second down. Grabbed on the outside, it's Ellison. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're going to have to get the training staff to, to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is going to play way too many snaps. Going up top on first down. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half.
That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Bloomington. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. And the Panthers will line up to kick off and start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. Starting this third quarter on the ground. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Dropping back, it's Roark. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. I know this offense came out here in the second half hoping to build on their one possession lead. But after that incompletion, I think the smart thing is to just kick it away here and let your defense play and try to get it back to you without giving up any points. And the Hoosiers decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming here as he signals for the fair catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. The Florida International offense is back on the field. They'll go to the counter play. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Third down after the run. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. I just love the play call. You're getting a fast player out in the open field, and it's enough to get you a first down. FIU pushing tempo. Quick pass on the jet motion. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. Looking to throw, it's Jenkins. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. Trying to pick it up on the ground. At the 40, there he goes. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. 
That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. FIU set up with another first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. As a defensive end, trust me, I was a defensive end, I can tell you. You start getting a little lathered up. Now you got your second sack. It's only the third quarter. Your eyeballs are getting big. This is going to be one of those days. I'm going to get me three. I'm going to get me four. Shoot, I might even get me five. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Going to run it. It's Owens. He's knocked down at the 34, but they're sort of hitting them in the mouth with a six-yard pick up there. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. FIU comes out with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, FIU! And this offense is so difficult to stop, especially in this area of the field, because of this QB's running ability, whether it's between the tackles or on the perimeter, on designed QB runs. And they show you it right there. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point was good. No incident there. And we are tied up in the third. So that was a 10-play, 75-yard drive. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. They'll try to power their way ahead. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Goodness gracious, if you blinked, you missed it. Horrible blocking up front. Defender gets in there so fast. Did he line up in the backfield? The Hoosiers will punt it away on fourth down. They'll look to pin him deep. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He'll pull it on the read. He has the first and still on his feet. He picks up the first down, brought down, but not before he put that dude in a blender. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. Second and ten here. Wants to throw. It's Jenkins. Makes the grab on the left. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Third and short coming here right from the midfield stripe. To the ground to try to move the chains. Nice job to pick up the first down and they'll spot it at the 42. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Going to take a shot at this. Fires a ball. Now it's picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running back. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Making a play like that to open the drive can really get the momentum going. First down from the 43. Back to pass. It's Rourke. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Big play offense, and it has them threatening now. First and 10 from the 25. He's looking to throw it. Snagged in the middle. It's Williams. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Well, they execute the in route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. And the Hoosiers will snap it on first and 10. Using his legs, it's Ellison. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Here's the handoff. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down.
They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. From the gun on third down. And he was looking into the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's just a huge missed opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. And as a holder picks his spot, it'll be a 25-yard attempt. It is true as he puts three on the board. And with that, they've taken the lead. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And here's the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to pass. It's Jenkins. Gets it to the back. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. Clock strike zero here in the quarter, and Indiana is on top. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. FIU will line up to punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Crosses the 30, he's got away. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Well, that's called paying off good field position. You've got the lead here late in the game. You've got the ball back. You're on your opponent's side of the 50, and on your very first play, you break off a long run. This defense right now is playing on their heels late. Just outside the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And this guy really has been a workhorse today. He's made plays when his offense has needed them the most. He's a guy who's reliable. They know they can turn around, give him the football, and he'll go make things work out. And they're going to need him to finish this game. He has to continue playing well after that big run there. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Unloads quickly. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. The Hoosiers come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Hoosiers. If this dude were a kitchen knife, he would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways. But he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Florida International offense is back on the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. He'll keep it himself. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. This offense is really going to try to keep the defense on their heels in the run game by doing it with different guys. It'll be running backs. It'll be quarterbacks. They may even try to get receivers involved in the jet sweep game, reverse game as well. But a nice play there. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. FIU will line up to punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Slips through the line. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Got enough for the first down and wants more. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. All the way down at the 33-yard line, it's first and 10. Leaves it with the back. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw, it's Rourke. Working that left side now. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Just on the edge of the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. The give to the tailback. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. This offense could not have executed in this situation any better, just draining some time off the clock. Got it! Takes it to the house! Touchdown, Indiana! Now how about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense, or number three is coming soon. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working, though. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. They'll try to add another to their lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Quickly complete. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a big game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. On the run, it's Jenkins. He's got his man. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. The Panthers have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Quickly complete. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Picked up some yardage with that completion, now second down. Off the play fake. Quickly to the tight end. They get him down, but it's past the sticks and it's a first down for FIU. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that, A, it's zone, but, B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Got it. In the middle, it's Patterson. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Looking to throw it again, using the quick game. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. On the move, it's Jenkins. On the run, fires downfield. Complete to the left. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. I love when my wide receiver sees the coverage, sits it down, understands its zone, runs the curl, catches the ball, and then gets upfield and gets some positive yards. On first and goal, let's see if FIU can get it in. He's looking to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Can the D deny them on second and goal? He's looking to throw. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. That is just what you want defensively, right? Ben don't break. They drove down the field a little bit. They got second and goal. Boom. Create that negative play. Now they got third and goal. Now they got to make some decisions. Do they want to be conservative? Do they want to be aggressive? Either way, an advantageous situation now for this defense. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. How about that alert play from the defense to scoop it up? He's at the 20. Touchdown, Hoosiers! And the 
the defense doing work. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up. Take it all the way back to the house for six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. And the ball is picked off. He'll try to take it back. Touchdown, Indiana! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He wants to throw. Trying to get behind the defense. Wide open. He makes the catch. And he'll take it in for the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous parting gift, a consolation prize, if you will. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's perfect. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. They'll see quarterback one snap, put it in the end zone. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. Boy, they have delighted these home fans here by putting this game in a hammerlock, David. Yeah, and this crowd's been jacked up. They've been excited. Now they get to breathe a little bit, Palmer. Nicely, this offense needs to go out and protect them. Yeah, they've been the more physical team all game long. So let's just run the ball. Let's just ice this football game. Take the W into the locker room. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. 
And this offense has done a really good job late in this football game. Man, you put a premium on the fourth quarter and maximizing possessions, and they've had. They've put touchdowns on the board. They've done a great job. Nice last play, too. Keep that momentum going and get out of here with the win. And while this game is all but decided, the offense's job is to score. So they might try to score again. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense.